year 1988 India was in fast track development mode in IT communication and broadcasting under the leadership of then Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi He introduced India to telephones and television in the mid 80s and it was his dream that India should develop its own supercomputer for the country Two decades ago when America refused to give India its Cray supercomputer for other than the purpose of weather forecasting Shri Rajiv Gandhi initiated the project of developing such technology. He asked the Indian scientists to make such high powered computers to make in the country so as to become self dependent in technological matters and for that purpose scientists like Sam Petroda Dr Vijay Bhatkar came together in 1988 to set up CDAC Center for Development of Advanced Computing. The target of developing a parallel processing supercomputer within 3 years was given to CDAC. Year 1991. In the stipulated time period, CDAC developed India's first supercomputer named Param 8000. The word Param means supreme in Sanskrit, and like the name suggests, the series of the Supreme Param supercomputer was upgraded by CDAC by developing Param's higher versions. Param 9000 in 1995, Param 10000 in 1998, and Param Padma in the year 2002. It's because of CDAC that India is one of the very few countries today which has its own indigenous teraflop supercomputers. The other countries being US, Japan, Israel, and China. And CDAC did it a better way, which is more cost-effective than others using massive parallel processing. Today India is an exporter of supercomputers. The latest supercomputer in the Param supercomputer series is Param Yuva, which is the next generation supercomputer having peak power of 54 teraflops and was ranked 68th in the list of top supercomputers of the world in the exhibition held in Texas, USA in 2008. Year 1993 to meet the ever increasing skilled manpower requirements of the IT industry as well as supplement its intellectual resource base for cutting edge research and development CDAC's Advanced Computing Training School AGS was set up in 1993 Initially the knowledge and skills of the students coming out of AGS was utilized for research and development along with the various projects undertaken at CDAC but there was a huge demand from the information technology and communication industry for the talent coming out of ax to fulfill this demand ax has extended its reach all across the country through a network of its authorized training centers cdac is committed to nation building through its advanced computing training school ax and is the first government lab that has expanded its horizons globally we have designed a specialized pedagogy in con- in consultation with the industry where been where we where and we have uh, found out the gap between the academia and as to what is the industry requirement having assessed this requirement we prepare our students for the industry and primarily we focus on giving a wholesome product to the industry where in he has knowledge of all the three fields uh, first is the core competence the technology per se and second is the soft skill which he is supposed to be knowing in the corporate world and third is the value addition which is required by the industry like six sigma quality and uh, information security and things like that so students are prepared and they can th- that's why they move away from the rest of the crowd available in the market and their employability factor enhances hi i'm rishan center coordinator at spune we deal with the day to day activities of the students uh, right from the stage 2 and 3 of the admission process we take at most care in selecting the faculty members because most of the faculty members they come from the industry uh, we don't follow the conventional uh, teaching methodology here uh, almost all our sessions are interactive not just the uh, you know the soft skill part of it but the all the sessions are interactive and they give a uh, uh, lot of uh, practical sessions and the students uh, most of them they come here for uh, placement purpose and we see to it that they learn a lot of uh, uh, 
practical, uh, they gain a lot of practical knowledge uh, from the teaching that they have got here. And uh, apart from the uh, technical part, whatever uh, the are a part of our uh, six months diploma process, we do teach them soft skill training. And uh, we see to it that the students are 100% employable to the industry. CDAC's Advanced Computing Training School is dedicated to creating high quality manpower for CDAC in particular and the IT industry in general through the designing and delivering various courses. The courses are offered through a network of more than 50 authorized training centers in India, including CDAC's own centers at 10 locations. Around half a million students passed out since inception in last decade and a half. They are today successful employees of many multinational and premier Indian IT companies and many of them have become successful entrepreneurs. In recent years, we have seen uh, tremendous growth in IT industry. A major concern in front of the IT industry is to have a suitable manpower. The courses which we offer, uh, like a Diploma in Advanced Computing is a flagship course and almost we are training uh, 3,000 engineers through uh, our uh, professionals per year. We have batches of two okay, after, uh, every six months. Apart from that, we have got the courses like uh, uh, VLSI, Diploma in VLSI Design, Embedded System Design, System uh, Software and Design. These are the main stream computer science and electronic kind of courses. Other than that, for the for keeping the view of the wide range of uh, industry requirements, we have the courses like Diploma in Geoinformatics, Informatics yeah. System and uh, Cyber Security, Diploma in Language Computing. We have recently launched a course on called uh, Diploma in uh, Healthcare Informatics. Hi, my name is Jagat Pal Singh. I'm working here in Saibage as a Chief Technology Officer. My responsibility here includes heading technology, giving direction to the company, where we want to go in terms of technology, how deep we want to go in a particular technology, where we want to focus the future. CDAC has played a very important part in uh, shaping my career. In fact, when I got into CDAC in 99, I already worked in IT industry for a few years and uh, I realized that, you know, I have to still gain a lot of about the IT industry and I thought of that getting this knowledge through some training and when I looked around, I found that CDAC is the most appropriate place to really uh, look for this knowledge. I entered into this, I spent six months and that really helped me a lot. I not only gained new technology areas, but I gained a lot of knowledge about that how really you can excel in the software or IT industry. To address the ever-increasing trained IT human resource crunch, CDAC has taken a national initiative to collaborate with the academic institutions of India through its unique program, Tech Sangam. Through this program, CDAC is associated with various engineering and science colleges in the country to train the students in high-end technologies. More than 250 colleges have already given their consent, showing interest to participate in the various programs organized by CDAC under Tech Sangam. Hi, I am Gaur Sundar, Team Coordinator of Medical Informatics Group here at CDAC. Here is the Medical Informatics Group. Uh, as you can see in this group, actually, we, can, we have uh, several people who are from DAC course. Uh, in fact, the current line of leaders, most of them are from DAC course. And it is my uh, understanding over the period that doing this course uh, from ACTS or from any of its franchisees gives, gives people that edge where they are almost ready to start working. Uh, we have uh, uh, about two teams here and uh, two product ranges apart from various research work and uh, uh, out of those two product ranges we have 
around 11 products. So this is a small team of about 20-21 people uh, who have been trained in various DAC courses and other CDAC centers and separate courses also uh, have become capable enough to hold that uh, depth of understanding, skill and technology where they can uh, contribute effectively to the group almost almost immediately from joining. I think Axe Network has not just imparted the education to people in programming but also probably taught them the art of learning on their own and probably always go a step ahead than on expectations. Day and night hard working actually gives them an orientation to work in an IT company in a big way and they have actually, the, their success is because of this kind of hard, hard and efforts of the faculties, acts, family and everybody who is in the, in the process of design. I always believe that no, none of the art student has worked less than 10 hours, 12 hours a day during his uh, diploma in advanced computing and even other professional courses. Students get to work on the real-time projects in CDAC as a part of the training and there are formal soft skill sessions along with cross-cultural training. The courseware is designed in collaboration with leading publishers like TMH, Willy, PPB, Vrox, etc. And the placement support is provided to the students for all the courses through centralized national level common campus placement program. The admission to various in-house programs is also centralized. The students are admitted to the course through nationwide competitive tests and subsequent interviews. The common entrance test is conducted four times a year. Every year more than 5,000 students appear for the test from various parts of India. Hi, I am Parimal. I am handling the marketing and promotional activities of CDAC Acts. CDAC conducts corporate training programs which are beneficial to the corporates for training their uh, new freshly joined employees. We also conduct training which are customized to the needs of the customers especially in the areas of IT, software development uh, and testing. We have also jointly provided training with various organizations such as Wipro, Infosys, DCS as well as companies from the government as well as the private sector. I am sure that these programs will help every client for development of their human resources. Hi, this is Atul Thakre. I am a placement coordinator at CDAC Acts. Placement in CDAC per se has always been special because it's the thing which has shaped up the careers of the students in IT industry. We at CDAC Acts, we hold a common campus placement program for all the center students of CDAC in which they get chance to appear for various Blue Chip companies interviews. Companies like Cybage, CDAC itself, Cognizant, then John Deere, Polaris, they have our students working at top levels in the industry. The placement at CDAC has a speciality that the students, they are trained on the latest technologies which the IT industry requires. Myself Sunil Ramakrishnan Nichal, I am shouldering the responsibility of counselling. Most probably two students comes to me and ask the questions about the various courses run by CDAC at Spune. And the courses uh, include uh, DAC, VLSI Design Embedded System, Diploma in Geoinformatics, like that. So I have to inform them about the eligibility criteria and placement opportunities and uh, about the other uh, prospects of the course. Hi, I am Bhupendra Kanungo, working at CDAC as a center coordinator. Working with this organization from last 15 years and I am heading the administration department. My administration department helps the act student right from their stage 1 and stage 2. We help them for their accommodation, their food and we give the information during the first and second stage what will be the tenure of the course and during the course period what will be their accommodation, what will be their food facility, what will the process of the internal organization to display their identity cards, 
and the transport facility what CDAC can provide. CDAC Acts is committed to design, develop and deliver IT education, solutions and services for the benefits of our patrons through a network of resources. This is achieved through continual improvement in our processes, products and services. CDAC Acts is contributing to the growing economy of India by providing ready to deploy manpower to the nation and multiplying the knowledge capital of the country through providing employable IT education to the young minds, thus bringing pride to the nation.